Today, let us revise the addition concept and its properties with Miss Mary. Good morning, students. Let us revise the concept of addition first. What do we mean by addition? Addition is the process whereby we put objects together. Let us see how. There are 25 long books and 32 small books on the table. How many books are there in all? Let us add 25 and 32 to find the total number of books. 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Thus, the sum of 25 and 32 is 57. There are 57 books in all on the table. Do you know the terms used for the numbers in an addition? Yes, the numbers that we add are called addends. And the total we get after adding the numbers is called sum. In the example just solved, 25 and 32 are addends. And 57 is the sum. Remember, the words in all, all together, total, sum imply addition. Now, let us revise the addition properties. There are three addition properties. They are 1. Zero property of addition. 2. Order property of addition. 3. Grouping property of addition. Zero property of addition. Let us take the numbers 315 and 0. If we add 315 to 0, we get the sum 315. And even if we add 0 to 315, we get the sum 315. This tells us that the sum of 0 and any number is the number itself. Order property of addition. Let us take the numbers 182 and 316. When we add 182 and 316, we get the sum 498. Now, let us change the order of addends. Let us add 316 and 182. Again, we get the sum 498. Hence, 182 plus 316 is equal to 316 plus 182. Thus, we know that changing the order of the addends does not change the sum. We can say that addition is commutative. Grouping property of addition. Look at the numbers 40, 50 and 20. Let us add the numbers by putting two numbers in a bracket. 40 plus 50 in bracket plus 20. Remember, always do the computation in the brackets first. So, 40 plus 50 is equal to 90. Now we add 20 to 90 and get the sum 110. Now let us change the addends in the brackets and add them. Therefore we have 40 plus 50 
plus 20 in bracket. So, 40 plus 70 is equal to 110. Thus, we come to know that three or more numbers can be added by putting them into groups placed in brackets. Changing the grouping of the add-ins does not change the sum. You must have definitely enjoyed revising the addition concept and properties 